So if you remember sometime last year, I did a video and we were talking about vitamin C and basically I had found a lot of information stating that our bodies basically can't absorb over like 2000 milligrams of vitamin C and basically that went for just all different types of vitamin C and so I was reminded of this uh, by a viewer who she wrote me and I will read what she said because it's really interesting and she said never heard this before I went to a reputable IV clinic this week for a consultation they do a lot of skin lightening for black and South Asian people I was super surprised to be told that the doctor does not give more than 1500 milligrams of vitamin C per IV no matter what the dose of glutathione so 5,000 milligrams of glutathione and then 1,000 to 1,500 vitamin C. She said that megadosing vitamin C can cause excess thin thinning of blood. It's an anticoagulant and can cause many women to have extra long periods. How crazy is that? She says the average adult can only absorb a max of 2,000 milligrams per day and the rest is usually expelled. Now keep in mind, she's talking about IV vitamin C. So basically one of the best you know, types of vitamin C you can get, aside from liposomal. And uh, she said, but the slightly thinner blood can be a concern for anemic women and ladies who already have heavy periods. Just wanted to share this with you, What would love to know what you think. I had forgot about like, you know, the video that I made last year and it was just explaining that there's tons and tons and tons of um, information on this. Like if you look it up right now, you're gonna see the top for vitamin C seems to be 2000 milligrams for adults. And um, I, I find it really interesting because even though like they say that, like I, I like to see like any types of experiments that are done. I want to see it done like with all of the types of vitamin C, like IV and liposomal and also, you know, absorbic acid powder. You know, I want to see all of that done. And so usually when you're reading this, it's just vitamin C. And so it's really interesting for her to be told that even from the doctor that yeah even with vi IV vitamin C which is one of the best out there you know it still was basically just like a waste of time because like if you think about it why wouldn't they want to get more money out of her like if you're already going to you know make the commitment to get IVs you know wouldn't you want to get as much as you can you know so he would just obviously charge her extra so she would go from you know 2000 milligrams of vitamin c to like 4000 or whatever but you know they're just saying no there's really no need no matter how much vitamin no much how much um iv glutathione you get uh you know we're only going to give you pretty much 1500 a, a thousand to 1500 milligrams and then they just said adults can't take in more than 2000 anyways so even last year and I mean, my thoughts on this still stay the same, um, even after seeing the information that I found last year that I just feel more comfortable with taking the 4,000 and so I'm going to continue taking 4,000, but I thought it was um, interesting to not only bring this up for everyone else who might have forgot along with me and also for the new viewers that, you know, it is kind of said that our bodies can't take 2,000. So if this is something that you're worried about you know you don't want to waste your money then by all means just take your 2000 milligrams of liposomal glutathione and be on your merry way for me i feel more comfortable taking 4000 milligrams i mean it's only 2000 more and so you know yes it could be a waste of money but i'm just kind of being safe um so it's really just up to you um i, I will say that uh, I already have really heavy periods and really long periods so this is something that it's kind of hard for me to say 100% yes it makes them heavier or it doesn't because like I already have really heavy periods but um, it is interesting that people who are already anemic 100% you should probably like not even risk it and yeah if you already feel like you hit your periods then maybe don't um, I'll share some more information that I found so for vitamin C if you look online for you know what can help treat heavy periods a lot of the information that I found was people actually recommending to start taking vitamin C and to take B12 and to take folic acid so it, it's really weird you know because I found one website that was like yes high doses of vitamin c can thin the blood too much especially if you're already on thin, uh, blood thinning medicine and um it also like added in there that high doses of vitamin c's could put you at a higher risk for kidney stones so keep that in mind as well um but there's also a lot of information of people who have high periods or heavy periods and they're saying 
take vitamin C, but they're not really saying how much to take. So I'm assuming they're not saying mega dose of vitamin C, but it is kind of, you know, confusing. I found, you know, parties on both sides saying, you know, vitamin C does this and vitamin C does that, but we'll just assume that for those who have hippie, uh, periods they're saying just increase your vitamin c but not necessarily mega dose it um also i saw that obviously folic acid is supposed to help so if you're already having heavy periods and you want to keep up your higher dose of vitamin c maybe try that and see if it helps but either way like across the board everywhere i looked basically it was just saying adults can only absorb 2000 milligrams so i'm just kind of relaying the information um i'm also going to continue taking my 4000 milligrams because if i'm also drinking or you know bringing toxins into my body um i like that i found that the vitamin c will actually get rid of those they will detox it instead of using my glutathione stores to detox it so that's why i kind of feel a little better you know taking just a little bit more vitamin c but 100 percent like i don't recommend if you're anemic to take a high dose of vitamin c and if you're already hating your periods then it could actually make it worse